Now let's find the d over the dx when we have x equals to 2a tan of theta and y equals to a sec square theta. So uh, as I told you in the previous video also, in this type of questions, uh, when we have to find out dy over the dx, we use the chain rule. First we'll solve this and we'll solve this. We'll differentiate both with respect to theta and then uh, from here we'll get dx over d theta and from here we'll get dy over d theta and then finally to find uh, the derivative uh, to find dy over uh, dx we'll be using uh, the chain rule dy over d theta and the reciprocal of this will be using as a d theta over dx all right and then this and this will cancel out finally you'll get dy over the dx all right uh, so uh, let's do all right let's solve one by one uh, suppose here I'm going to solve here we have x equals 2a tan theta and we have y equals to a sec square theta so uh, let me differentiate both sides with respect to theta so I'll get dx over d theta will be equal with 2a derivative of tan theta over d theta because 2 is constant that's why I put outside and now uh, our dy over d theta is equal with now a outside and derivative of sec square theta with respect to sec theta we need to do because it's the sec theta and it's square so first we need to differentiate with the base all right and now we need to differentiate the base itself sec theta with respect to theta all right so uh, what we'll get now here dx over d theta is 2a and derivative of tan theta is actually sec square theta and now and the next one is dy over d theta so it's a times now derivative of sec square theta it will be 2 sec theta and derivative of sec theta that is sec theta times tan theta so as I had said earlier we got the both thing we got dy over d theta also we got dx over d theta alright now by chain rule right by chain rule uh, what we can say that dy over dx which the question is asking us is equal with first dy over d theta I'm writing first this one and then I will write the reciprocal of this dx over d theta instead of that I'll write d theta over dx alright so let's put the value what we have got dy over d theta here it is uh, 2a sec theta sec theta times sec theta times tan theta times now d theta over dx so just opposite of this right or reciprocal of this it will be 1 over 2a sec theta now see what other things are going to cancel so first we can cancel uh, 2a sec theta uh, it is sec square theta right it is sec square theta so 2a sec square theta both 2a 2a cancel and sec square both get cancel and we are left with now tan theta right so this is our dy over dx the question was asking us to find out and we got it that's tan theta this is how we need to solve this concept problem and uh, if you feel any more problem or any confusion in this video then please feel free to comment just below this video i really appreciate to hear something from your side and don't forget to subscribe the channel goodbye